My dear friends, it's really an honor to speak to you about something that's really important. Love and human security. Well, love is the greatest treasure that is given to us as human beings. In this infinite universe, there may be other planets where there's life, but we know there's love, the most precious treasure that we have in this orb. My political mentor, Senator Alan Cranston, used to say, nuclear weapons are unworthy of civilization. And then he would expound on the idea that we could have the arrogance of ending love. Because human beings alone can love selflessly, generously, and with the compassion of God's love. But love, in a way, is very much like water. It will, it, will, uh, it will provide life and sustenance to anything that it's poured upon. People are more than willing to give up their life and limb and property over their love of family, their love of nations, their love of religions, their love of things that we have created. In fact, presently with the nuclear arsenals in the world, it seems that we're willing to give up the very the very existence of humanity over love of country. Human security has a different approach than merely loving uh, things that we've created. It's focused on loving human beings, loving people, using things. So many of our problems arise from loving things and using people. Let's take human security as a political concept. It essentially says that the function of the state is to create an enabling environment for human beings to have freedom from fear, freedom from want, and freedom from indignity. Allows us to blossom as human beings. When we love things, ideologies we create, weapons we create, rites, rituals, and practices that we cling to that separate us from others rather than enhance our ability to be open and, uh, and loving. When we love things that we've created and use human beings, then we have terrible problems. Human security shifts the focus of the duties that we have as human beings to love people and use things. Now, why is this so important? It is so important because the human being is the unique creature that can become aware of its divine nature and manifest it. The human being can manifest compassion, patience, love, peacefulness, justice, knowingly. It has the capacity to know these qualities and to know the source, which is the giver of life itself, as, as the wise have told us since time immemorial. That giver of life is indescribable, but is often described as love, as compassion. And human beings have that capacity. They also have the capacity, when they love things that they've created, that we've created, to be the most dangerous creatures to commit horrible, horrible acts based on love of things that we have created. So human security is a transformative, powerful concept for the affairs of nations. It says that in this moment of time, the admonition to see the human family as one, an ancient admonition found in the Upanishads, is now be is now becoming increasingly a practical necessity in order to protect the oceans, the health of which we depend upon, the climate that's affecting the health of the oceans and so many other biological phenomena, pandemics. The financial system of the world is integrated. So this spiritual admonition of the wise to see the human family as one and to love the human family as your own family has now become a practical necessity. This is unique. This is our moment in history in which our love 
has to transcend the things that we've created, the differences amongst ourselves, and see the basic common humanity, the precious miracle of the human being, the creature capable of knowingly moving from selfishness, pride, vanity, to selflessness, love, and generosity. That's the task that we all have, and there's nothing more fulfilling than moving toward the source of love, because in doing so, the security of the soul, the security that knowing that death is not to be feared, the security of being open and kind to all other beings is the blessing that comes from that love. May we all uh, find that treasure, find that comfort, find that security. Thank you.